Hello everyone, happy 2017. I just realized I think this is my first video of the year, so I hope that um, your new year is off to an amazing start. We're gonna talk about fitness planners today. So um, I think I shared with you guys in my preparing for the new year video that um, I like to theme each month of my year. So as opposed to setting resolutions for the entire year, which I do, but um, I like to break those down and theme each month. I just find that that helps me have a little bit more focus and it just, it makes things a little bit easier for me um, and more manageable to break it down into chunks like that. So the month of January is um, all about health and wellness. <laughs> I know that sounds a little bit cliche, but I've kind of been on this journey for a little while now um, and I decided that this month I was just gonna really buckle down. So um, I have dedicated um, a totally separate planner to my health and wellness um, journey and my like fitness journal and all that stuff I just wanted to keep separate. So I wanted to share with you guys um, three different planners that I um, have come across that I think would work really well if you um, want to have a separate fitness journal, workout planner, health planner, you know, whatever. So I'll share those with you guys. Um, but like I always say, I don't think that you have to go out and spend a lot of money to um, get organized or plan or get healthy. Um, you know, I never want to promote that ever. I think you can start with um, something as simple as a notebook and put a sticker on it and use that. So um, I have used this in the past. Actually, this is what I was using while I was waiting to kind of figure this stuff out. So you can start with a with a notebook, really. Like, don't let that stop you. All right, let's start with this Fit Happens journal. This is from Target. I believe it was $15. I think this is such a cool concept. It's not a traditional spiral coil bound. It's more of a journal. So it feels a little bit nicer, a little bit more luxurious. Um, it starts out, you know, with the typical you know, contact information, that kind of stuff. So this journal has a lot in it. So that might be for some of you and might not for others. If you kind of want to be more free form, then um, the last planner I'm going to show you is for you. But if you do want to be a little bit more guided, this has some tips on breakfast, um, helps you to rate your day. It, you know, you can fill in your workout, the number of minutes that you did your food, your energy level. I like that it talks about um, reflecting on your mood. And then I really like that it talks about, um, you know, today I'm grateful for, my goal to live life fit today. One thing I appreciate about my strong body today. So I really like this kind of stuff. Um, it's more of a holistic approach. It is blank, so it's undated, so you can fill it in and, um, you know, you don't have to do it every day if you don't want to. I love this inspiration section. And then again, just some lined pages and it has some quotes. So let's go through. I like these tips um, at the bottom change and so do the quotes. So that is nice. It does have this ribbon marker that you can use and it's a pretty substantial. I mean, there are a lot of pages in here. So even if you don't fill it out every day, um, this should last you a really long time. So I like this, um, like I said, I like that it's a little bit more substantial um, with the kind of journal feel. It has some blank note pages at the back. So again, if you're someone that really wants a lot of prompts and um, you wanna be guided a bit more, I think this is nice. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the cover and this like fit happens and all that stuff, but um, that's okay. I mean, I, I think that for me personally, I'm very motivated um, and inspired by like aesthetics of things. So I wish that this was um, just a little bit more feminine, a little bit prettier. I don't like the red, you know, that kind of stuff. So the outside of it, I don't like too much, but um, I do plan to keep this. Most likely would just keep it open, um, probably in the kitchen. That's how I envision using this um, to just kind of maybe in the mornings fill out for the day before or something like that. Next up is the Tone It Up 8-Week Bikini Journal. 
Um, I'm just going to tell you guys right off the bat, I am not a fan of this at all. <laughs> um, I was excited to get it because I follow Katherine Shepard, who is the lifestyled. Um, I love her. She's a local LA girl and I'm just really inspired by her. Um, and she had purchased this, so I wanted to check it out as well. Um, I know that she is a big fan of Tone It Up. And I'm not saying one thing or another on Tone It Up. This is not like a reflection of that program itself. But this journal, I'm just not a fan of. But I did want to show it to you guys in case this was something that maybe you guys would have liked. Um, I just think the quality um, is not that great. I mean, I think it was only probably $10 and then shipping was like $5. So, I mean, the whole thing was only $15. But still, it's just, it's just not, the quality is just not there. Um, but it does have room for a lot of information. So, um, again, just the, you know, standard nameplate stuff, a note from the Tone It Up Girls. And then um, you guys can see it's really cheesy, quite frankly. <laughs> um, it's just the font and, you know, the colors and all that stuff. Um, it's a bit too gimmicky for me, but I think the... Um, information is good. So, uh, you know, it does have a place for you to put your starting and ending weight and um, measurements, your goals. I mean, it's just not a lot of room to fill these out. And then photos, like how exactly do they expect you to fit a photo in these squares? I don't know. But um, anyway, they are tabbed. Now this does go along with their program. So um, I do think it's still useful if you're not doing the Tone It Up program. But again, this is really for someone who is um, following along with them. But this is cool. I mean, it says week one, ready, set, go. You know, it has a place for you to do your grocery list, meal prep, workout prep, and then um, some hints at the bottom. Again, some tips. Uh, and then again, you can see here how it is really customized to the Tone It Up program. So, you know, their protein, they have this perfect fit protein, and then it says perfect fit vitamin, and then TUI team check-in. So you don't have to use that part of it, um, but I do like that it has a place for water um, intake, and then your reflections and goals, your workouts. Again, booty call is something that's very specific to Tone It Up, TUI work <laughs> workouts, um, and then fine-tuning, cardio, that kind of stuff. And then your meal diary. So this is for meal plans that follow the five small meals a day. So again, keep that in mind. Um, I do like that it is weeks, you know, it has the weeks broken up, but it is a blank, um, it's an undated. So you can start and stop whenever you want. It's cute, it says Sunday run day, and then you can see motivation Monday. Tone it up Tuesday, wild on Wednesday, try it Thursday, feel good Friday, and sassy Saturday. And then as the weeks go on, the colors change. So week two is purple, this kind of blue color, um, this kind of green, this, what does this say? Week five, powerful and beautiful. So, oh, and then at the end of the month, it does have a recap. So that's nice. Again, I, I like this concept. I just don't think it was executed very well, but, um, you know, and the aesthetics are, are not really up my alley. But again, if you are following uh, the Tone It Up program, I think this is a nice option. And then week seven, and then all the way through week eight. So let's see, does it have... Yes, all right, at the back it says you did it. Another note from the Tone It Up Girls, closing reflections. All right, and then last but not least is this Erin Condren planner. Now, I have lots to say about Erin Condren and honestly, I don't know why I keep trying them because I'm continually disappointed. But you guys, I don't know any other company that allows you to customize a cover the way that Erin Condren does. And it's solely because of that reason that I'm including this planner in here. Um, because like I said, with like the Fit Happens book, um, I'm so affected and inspired and motivated by like, you know, just like motivational quotes or the aesthetics of things or what, you know, what something looks like that I really wanted a planner um, that would have a like motivational cover and I wanted to be able to make it myself, and Erin Condren was the only one that I knew that would do it. So that is the only reason I'm including this, because quite frankly, I think that their customer service is horrific. <laughs> um, I've never encountered a company that large that has customer service um, at such a poor quality. Um, they just, and, and the quality of the binders, like this print here, 
um, you know, it's the camera's not close enough for you to see it, but it's so pixelated and it looks so bad that I feel like they had a responsibility when they were printing this, when they saw it, to email me and be like, hey, May, this picture that you uploaded, the quality's not that good. Do you want to send us another one because this looks bad? I've talked about Aaron Condren before, and I'm not trying to bash them because, again, I think the product is cool, um, and I've not seen any other planners that allow you to customize in this way, but I just don't understand why they can't get their customer service to the level that it needs to be. Um, you know, I've, I've talked about this in other vlogs. I have talked about it on Instagram. I just, um, you know, they're just, they don't go above and beyond for their customers. And I, I don't understand that. Anyway, this is not a bashing Erin Condren video because obviously I'm using the planner, but I'm not happy about it. And if I could find another planner company that would let me customize my cover, I would switch to them in a heartbeat. But anyway, let me show you guys this planner. This is the main... Uh, my main health and wellness journal that I'm going to be using. And um, I'll show you the insides of it. I did customize the outside. This one says, eat more rabbit food. <laughs> I love this cover. And then the back says, oh, this, it's just my gym pony. So I thought these were really cute, fun little, um, you know, inspirational, motivational health uh, images. So I wanted those to be my covers. I did decide to go with the rose gold coil. I paid $10 extra for this. I think this entire thing ended up being maybe $65, which again, I, I don't wanna go down that path, but $65 for a planner is ridiculous. But anyway, um, this rose gold coil, in my opinion, is not worth the extra $10. It doesn't even look rose gold. In some lights, it still looks really silver. So anyway, whatever, I need to move on from that. But uh, when you open it up, I did go with the neutral, um, like, look, this thing is bent. Just, okay, anyway. Um, I went with the neutral, and uh, this is just the, you know, 2016-2017 version. And, um, oh, that's interesting. January starts in the middle. Okay, I don't know why. But, anyway, um, so here is the full month, and I plan on using this monthly spread to track my um, workouts and things like that. Um, if you guys have been following me, you know that I just released a health and wellness sticker set, which I'm obsessed with these stickers. And so these are um, what I plan to use to track my workouts, my water intake, all that kind of stuff. And they will fit um, perfectly into these um, boxes and the weekly layout as well. So um, definitely if you're interested in decorating like a health and wellness planner, check out my sticker set. They're DIY, super easy to print. Once you buy it, you can print as many as you want. So unlimited stickers. So um, anyway, I'll link all that down below. But um, here is the monthly and then it goes into the weekly. I decided to do the vertical spread um, and most likely I will use the top row for workouts and then the um, bottom two rows for meal planning. Um, I might use these bottom columns for just kind of like checking in how I feel, maybe um, some intentions or like goals I can write here. So I haven't really, I haven't started to fill it out yet. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use it, but if this is something you guys want to see more of. Let me know and I can um, share it with you. It's a pretty standard Erin Condren, just has the months and I am happy that they at least went with the neutral. So I don't know you guys for sure. Let me know if you guys know of another company that will let me customize the cover. So and then the Erin Condren comes with the blank pages in the back and this perpetual calendar and then this um, what are these called these pockets but these no longer snap in anymore. It's just a blank pocket. So I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with it. The old ones used to be able to snap in. So anyway, that is that. And then the notes section, and then there are some stickers, a lot of blank stickers, and then a pocket in the back. So again, I just plan to um, use this to kind of watch my progress and track it, and I will be using my stickers as well. So that is that but again like I said you guys don't think that you 
have to have one of these fancy planners. You certainly don't have to have a $65 one. You can really use any of these or just a plain notebook as well. The important part is that you're doing something for your health and wellness. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, if you enjoyed this and it was helpful, I'm so appreciative of all of you. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys soon. Bye.